This video is copyright protected, which is detailed on the last slide. In this video, we will demonstrate the proper procedure to clean and flush a complete hydraulic system. Before beginning, always ensure you are wearing the proper protective gear. An improper hydraulic flush can lead to ongoing hydraulic issues and prolonged downtime. The most common contaminants in an electric hydraulic system are water, steel, aluminum, and small pieces of seals and o-rings. It is imperative to identify the type of contamination in order to address the root cause. If steel contamination is found, the source is typically the cylinders. After disassembling the hydraulic unit, all parts should be washed in a parts washer equipped with a hose providing continuously pumped fluid. All components of the hydraulic unit need to be flushed. This includes the valve blocks, hoses, cylinders, valves, and fittings. Step by step, we will show you how to disassemble a hydraulic unit to properly flush and clean a contaminated unit. Before beginning, please obtain the proper mechanics guide for your snowplow. The mechanics guide will be needed when reassembling the hydraulic unit to ensure all components are reinstalled properly and all relief valve settings are adjusted to the proper pressures. The mechanics guide will also provide important safety information while working on your unit. Begin by disconnecting the hoses and removing the hydraulic unit from the headgear. Ensure that the hydraulic unit is drained of all its fluid. Remove the plow module and wiring harnesses from the unit, followed by the valve coils. Next, remove all the hydraulic fittings from the unit followed by the electric motor. For hydraulic units containing a secondary valve block, remove the secondary valve block. Continue disassembling the unit by extracting the cartridge valves from the valve blocks. On a straight blade system, remove the boss plugs containing the poppet check valve components and bypass check valve. Loosen the relief valves and remove the components by using a pencil magnet, making sure that all four components are removed. Inspect all components for signs of wear. Ensure the relief valves are not hammered or have missing or split o-rings. Some hydraulic units use different types of relief valves which are not interchangeable. It is important to ensure that these relief valve components are not mixed together. For example, there are high pressure and low pressure relief valves in a V-plow hydraulic unit. Putting a low pressure relief valve into a high pressure cavity or vice versa will result in multiple relief issues in the unit. Remove the quill assembly from the valve block. Next, unscrew the four machine screws that hold down the reservoir can and remove. Take out the magnet from inside the reservoir can and set aside for cleaning. Remove the pump from the valve block and take off the filter.
Once all components are removed, wash each component in the parts washer. Be sure to flush out all the cavities in the valve block. After the unit has been flushed out, dry the valve block and components with a blowgun. With the unit disassembled, it is a good time to check the condition of the pump shaft seal and motor bushing and replace if necessary. When reinstalling the pump, it is important to follow the necessary steps in the pump shaft seal repair kit instructions to prevent damage to the pump shaft seal. Once all components are flushed, cleaned, and dried, you can reassemble the unit. When reassembling the unit, be sure to lubricate all O-rings. Set all relief valves to the proper settings and torque all components to the specific specifications listed in the mechanics guides. Lastly, if contamination is found in the hydraulic unit, it is crucial that you disassemble, clean, and flush all the cylinders. Clean and inspect the rod, nut, seal, barrel, and if it's a double acting cylinder, the piston. Performing these necessary checks will ensure that all contaminants are flushed from the system. For any further questions regarding this procedure, please contact technical support for further guidance.